What's going on, YouTube? Just here with a little update of the vintage air kit and the G body. I got all my lines finished, heater hoses, hot, I mean, not hot, high pressure, low pressure, AC lines, all that's ran. Got the radiator in here, all my lines and stuff clear. Made some custom brackets keep it a little bit tighter than what the aftermarket radiator uh, holder or whatever you want to call it. That one was, was a little bit flimsy. So just made these brackets need to chop them down, probably add the other end pieces to the middle, hold it up there nice and steady. So all that's done, all I gotta do is get an AC belt Put some uh, fresh coolant in there and a few cans of Freon. That'll be done. Uh, updating on the interior. All the interior is in here for the most part. Got a few little pieces to put in steel. Got the door panels and stuff done. And clean off that bottom panel. Got the two kickers, I mean the two six and a halves. Uh, the six and a half and the tweeter, which is a little tight, but it fits up in there. Vintage AC and the dash is on. And I end up having to change this one right here. If you see, originally I told y'all how I put it in the back when I went to try to put the dash up here, I couldn't get it to go in there all the way. So I end up putting it in the bottom. When I put it in the bottom, it went right in there like it should. And I would probably suggest the same exact thing for that one. Because whenever I shoved it in there, I kind of broke loose the vent that I glued. If I had to put it at the bottom, I'd have had no problem clearing when I went to push it back. Because uh, the lines from the defrost vents, that one... The one that goes over to the driver's side kind of made it a little tight right there. So those are my only suggestions. I left the other one that's right by the driver alone. And other than that, like I said, I would just, for future reference, just put both the vents in at the bottom. You'll have no problem clearing. And like I said, the carpet's in, seat's in, driver's seat, passenger seat, back seat. Uh, all the panels are in, the roof, headliner, all that's in, visors. Uh, that uh, driver's side door panel was done wrong. They wrapped it the wrong way, so I'm trying to find out if I can get it redone or if I can find somebody locally to fix that for me. So we can get that done. Got to put that kick panel in. I'm repairing the dash cluster uh, piece with some fiberglass, and I'm spraying uh, the this long vent piece black. Uh, the radio bezel, the outside one that goes around the dash as well. Doing all those in black. And. Uh, pretty much it the only other thing I probably got to do now is uh if you see that driver's seat and the passenger seat passenger seat slides uh probably like an inch inch and a half further back than the driver's seat and I need that driver's seat to come back a little farther for me to sit in there more comfortably and probably come down half an inch as well so I'm gonna make them adjustments to that and like I said, I'm making a repair here with fiberglass. Got to sand it next. Sand it, put a little body filler on it. Crack there or two. Just fix both those cracks. And then I'm gonna paint this uh, light brown color. Paint that the light brown. And then like I said, the bezel that goes on the outside is gonna be in black. But like I said, for the driver's side panel, this is how it is. This will go in the driver's side door. See the flat side is on the opposite side. The curved side is on the opposite side. The um, 
window crank is on the wrong side. The lock is on the right side. So I uh, ended up ripping this board off because it was on backwards. It should be on like that. It should be on that way. But uh, like I said they did it wrong. Instead it was on like this, which made it almost like another passenger uh, door. So other than that, uh, that's really it. That'll yeah, hold me up a little bit, but I ain't gonna let it stop me from finishing everything else up for the most part. Just won't have the upper door panel. Like I said, put a few more panels in, trim around the wheel well, put the anti-roll bar on there. And then uh, I'm gonna find somebody to do my rear deck and my center console. And maybe if I can't find nobody to um, fix that door panel, I have whoever do those two. Just go ahead and do that door panel. And uh, that's it for my update. And like I said, I haven't tried to turn anything on other than turning the music on and tuning it, which I love to play for y'all, but due to copyright and everything like that, I just, uh, you just have to see me at a show or something or in traffic to be able to hear it. But that's it for this update, YouTube.